And and Erica, I mean, just just coming back to you know, Kiara's talking about how she's going for job interviews and and all these type of things. Um, how would you say is the best way to to find employment in today's age? I mean, have you had success with LinkedIn? Should you go through a recruitment agency, or should you just send like the company an email? Um, you know, just directly. What what have you found to be the most effective way of of getting employment in the actuarial field? Um, I would say there have been three channels that I found to be most effective. Um, but please keep in mind that when I started looking for jobs, there was no such thing as LinkedIn. You definitely went through a recruitment agent. That was your only option. <laughs> so um, I would say recruitment agents have been quite effective, but of course they take a percentage of your annual salary as, as an upfront commission. So I think more and more employers are trying to avoid that and to bring down the costs. And that is why you see these jobs, uh, job postings popping up on LinkedIn. Um, but it's still successful. I have to admit there, it does still, um, there are still roles that you can only find via a recruitment agent, um, which aren't necessarily on LinkedIn. I mean, I've been approached by recruitment agents for specific roles. And when I've gone looking for the role on a platform such as LinkedIn, it definitely isn't there. Um, I've had some limited, I have to say I've had some limited success and uh, roles coming up via LinkedIn, not that much. Um, when I've been approached via LinkedIn, um, I've had some successful role, uh, roles that way, um, rather than where I've uh, applied for a position. I don't know about you, but um, even for reputable companies, I see some really poorly written job specifications on LinkedIn in the past. So. That it, 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 it does seem to still be kind of settling into how um, HR departments are using it. Um, but sometimes the, the job profiles look quite clean and neat and tidy and they look like um, they would uh, be good roles. And other times I'm kind of put off by the way that it's written and the way that it's positioned. But I have to say another very important um, a recruitment method that I found to be quite effective um, is just word of mouth and being um, known a little bit wider as well. And this is where having worked at more than one company does come in quite, um, quite uh, effectively. Um, sometimes you do get approached by someone that you've worked with before saying, hey, would you be interested in this role? And of course, if you're looking for a specific role for a new role, it's, I would say it's very, very important to go and uh, look at your contacts and who do you think would be useful to help you get a new role. Um, of course, that I, I would say more than anything else, having that person's um, almost stamp of approval when they suggest you for a new role is really powerful. Okay. Just and talking word of mouth, my, I, I met Michael at an event that Dupro hosted in Cape Town. And then we had met each other and then he actually put in like a good word for me to Valerie. So that's actually how I got this job. <laughs> right. Just chose you. 